Hello folks, Mundane Man here again, and on this nice May long weekend, it's a beautiful day, about 20 degrees uh, Celsius, which is about, I don't know, 70 Fahrenheit, we decided to go for a little kayak. And uh, this is our second trip out. Today we're at Chickakoo Lake, and uh, it's a, uh, I don't know, in Alberta, especially this part of Alberta, if you can call it a lake, it's pretty slimy, so I would even venture to guess it's a slough. But uh, that's okay. You're not in the water, you're on top of it, so that's a good thing. So we're out with the uh, Pelican kayaks, and um, apparently I had to catch the deer because they're pretty elusive around here. So yeah, I was saying when that deer rudely interrupted us. Um, these aren't really lakes as far as I'm concerned. If you see all the green sludge that builds up in them. But you know what? They're good for uh, motoring around on or paddling around on if you will. I had to take my glasses off so I could see the screen, make sure my face was in it so you weren't looking at my hat. You can hear me in the wind. So there's the boss out enjoying her day. <laughs> so we decided to use the third dock in, which was uh, quite a hike to get there. So when you're wearing water shoes, feel every stone kind of pushes into your foot like you were walking barefoot. But uh, so maybe I'll just go over some of the things you have to have if you're kayaking in Alberta and probably just some of its common sense or just a good idea. So I have uh, a life vest on and it looks like it's a Salus from Ediflex. Um, I'm using gloves because I found that with paddling right in here, you're supposed to keep a loose grip on the paddle apparently, but um, I'm kind of uh, a water chicken so I grab it onto the paddle like it was going to save my life. Uh, but it kind of protects the inside of your thumb especially and the palms of your hands. Um, other things you need to have is, let me get it out from underneath here. You need to have a uh, bailing bucket if you will. And inside our bailing bucket came with some goodies. So. Um, we got carabiners on here so you can hook it to different parts of the boat so you don't lose them. So you got to have a rope. And a flashlight. And a whistle. Now we got better whistles than this one. I don't know what uh, where mine is, but it's a great whistle. Now, all I know is that in the search and rescue helicopter, with all the noise that's inside it, I'm sure the guy's going to be sitting there, he's going to be listening for it. So, anyways, things you're supposed to have while you're out in the kayak. So one thing we don't have is a spare paddle, uh, which would probably be a good idea. And um, the rope is to, so just in case you need to be towed, if you lose your paddle. Um, what else do we got? I got some pads down here that uh, are supposed to help protect your ankles, I guess. If you're pressing down, I find them to be uh, a bit of a pain in the butt, but um, they do, you, know, you can rest your heel on them and... Uh, it helps um, soften the blow, if you will. Uh, what else? So I think that's pretty much all uh, we carry. Oh, um, we carry a sponge around so that we can uh, sponge out the boat. Say if you're wiping up some water, because when I paddle, I end up getting water on my legs and, and inside the kayak. So um, it gives you something to use to mop it up a bit. And at the end of the day, you can wipe off the, all that green crap that you end up getting on your feet. Uh, so yeah, so let's just spend the afternoon just kind of bumming around Chickakoo Lake. 
Again, not a big body of water, but for a newbie kayaker, it's a good place to practice. Um, being a long weekend, it's a little bit busy here, but not on the water, uh, but certainly warm enough to be on the water. Make sure you use some sunscreen. I like to wear shorts because my legs get wet anyway, so I got some sunscreen last week. I didn't have sunscreen on there, and you can see my legs are peeling a bit. Anyways, let's sail around a bit. I use the term sailing loosely. I don't think this bird is happy with me being out here. Anyways, let's go for a paddle. Okay, so when we take the truck, we don't have the carrier per se. So the nice thing about the normal truck bed is both kayaks will fit side by side. So I have these straps that I spin up and down at the back of the box once they're in. These just go in the box of the truck. Okay, first kayak. And I'll get you up here once I've done this and show you how I've got them strapped in. 
Tension there. Tighten the strap. And there they are. So just kind of buckled in like that. A bit more tension. And we drove down the highway at 110 with them like that. Kilometers, Kilometers an hour, yes. Uh, we'll wash the bottoms when we get home. They didn't get too bad though. We came for that. Yeah, we sailed sailed the green seas right there. Yuck. Now if you're height challenged like me, I always bring a step with me. Okay, and now we'll see you at home. And we're back. So now we're going to take the uh, kayaks out of the truck. We would like to give them a quick wash just to get, because we went through all that green yummy stuff. We'll walk, just give them a rinse off and hang them back up again. Oh, and a little safety tip. They're lower than your head. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Okay. It's a little bit easier with two people, but you can get by yourself. Now, I'm going to rinse the bottoms off first. And then I always manage to stand in the mud and get mud on the inside of mine. So I'll rinse out the inside of it. As much as they're only 38 pounds, they're kind of awkward. see in here I always seem to get the inside of my boat dirty so I am going to rinse out the inside but I gotta turn it around and I'll show you why in a minute secret tip this is a drain plug you pull that out you rinse the inside of your kayak out and then flip it over and water will drain out of that hole. Don't lose it. And you can see the water draining out of that drain port down there. Okay, let's check the other one, see if we got any dirt in it. No, my wife is so dainty, she keeps everything nice and clean. There's a little bit of marks in there, I may as well rinse out while I'm here. I'm gonna hang them up a little wet, they'll dry off good enough. I do like these hangers. Check out my first kayaking video on those in. I'm sure you could buy one if you had to. Best not to forget it. Come on. There. 
Okay, well that's it for this edition of Mundane Man where we took our kayaks out to uh, Chickakoo Lake, which is just a little, I don't know, people call it lake, I call it a slough that's uh, just northwest of Edmonton, about 20 minutes from our house, so not too far away. We paddled around for oh, about an hour, hour and a half, which really is kind of good enough when you're just going around the lake, the scenery doesn't change too much. So. Um, we're quite happy with these kayaks so far. I think I mentioned this was our second time out and uh, I think we're getting the hang of loading them in the truck and what we need to bring. Uh, don't forget your safety gear like your uh, bailing bucket and your rope, your whistle. Make sure you have a life jacket on. We saw people without life jackets on and I guess that's their prerogative but uh, I'm not a big fan of the water so it's not if anything going to keep my head out of the water. And it's the law in Alberta. And yes, exactly. It is the law. You know, we're law abiding citizens when we need to be. Yeah, so uh, I, think, uh, I think we're going to enjoy these this summer. So again, that's it. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.